Hey y'all, so I'm at the lake and a big front's about to come through. Uh, it's supposed to start raining here in the next two or three hours, so uh, what I want to do is show you how I handle pre-front conditions, uh, but let's get out there before it starts raining. <laughs> Not, not exactly what we were looking for, but uh, first fish off this little rock jetty or whatever this is. This lake is really low, and so whenever you have a really low lake conditions like this, these fish are going to group up on the most obvious stuff, like this, you know, rock point here, or like isolated laydowns. Anything that just really sticks out of the water is what you want to target. Dragon bottom here, and I just got a really good one on the spuzz bait. Get up here. There we go. My my trolling motor is literally kicking up mud right there. I'm in no water right now. That fish is probably in a foot of water, and he hit it twice and missed it. And then finally, I guess I got him in the gill plate. It's kind of weird. There you go. So a nice two and a half pounder right there on a buzz bait, just up in like six inches of water. So yeah, these fish are getting active because this front, this wind and this cloud cover that's getting pushed through is really getting them active and they're pushing up shallow. But later today it's supposed to drop to like 45 degrees so this bite's probably going to die off pretty quick. So you got to take advantage of it while you can. And in the fall, when you get these pre-front conditions, my favorite bait to throw is a buzz bait. It's just a really good way to get them to bite. Okay, let's hop across the lake here and hit another little stretch I like to fish. Oh, no. Another rat. They're all getting the trailer hook today. But... Ooh. Golly, don't y'all hate that? Set the hook on a fish and the braid gets caught. I've never had that happen though where I've just lost the rod. Golly. That'll wake you up. So the water temp right now is 62 degrees and for the end of November that's really warm. Um, so I feel like this buzzbait bite should be on fire. I feel like it just started getting cold enough here in Arkansas for them to really move up on these shallow flats. So I'm hoping that we can get a good one in the boat today. We should get one right here. There's a little transition from grass to rock. This looks perfect. My engine is dragging bottom. Trolling motor's hitting up against the rocks. I'm catching fish. I'm really shallow right now. But called my shot on this one. That little transition there from the grass to the rock. There you go. Nice little two pounder. Um, I've hit my engine on rocks like four times a day. That's probably not a good thing. So today I was basically just fishing with one bait, which is a black buzz bait. But I just took the skirt off and put a little frog on the back of it. And another key today was just having a trailer hook. I caught probably half my fish on the trailer hook. And I'm throwing this on 65 pound braided line uh, with a seven foot medium heavy action rod and a six three to one gear ratio reel, keeping it simple. Uh, and in these pre-front conditions, I basically just pick up a moving bait and just run the banks. Uh, that's probably the best way to catch fish. And there's a lot of baits that work, really anything from Crankbaits, spinnerbaits, uh, topwater lures, anything will work this time of year. 
but really just pick a moving bait you have a lot of confidence in and uh, that matches the lake that you're fishing and just cover a ton of water. Uh, these fish are only feeding for a short period of time during these pre-front conditions, so put, you try to put your bait in front of as many active fish as possible. Oh my God, my buzz bait was hung on the stick and a five pounder just came up and tried to eat it. Oh, I need to get back in there. Wrapped up, golly, seriously like a five pounder just swirled underneath my buzz bait while it was stuck on that stick. In like inches of water, let me try to get him. Eat it, eat it. Oh, he's gotta get it. I know, I know you're there, big boy. Got him. Maybe it wasn't a five. Maybe it was. Oh, it came off. Crap. Maybe it was like a two and a half. But crap, he came back and got it too. Pulling a flare over here, calling all the fish I missed five pounders. But that's okay. Came back and got it too. I just missed him. By the way, guys, wouldn't it be nice to live right there? You got a tennis court, a jungle gym soccer field and a beach volleyball court all in your backyard plus you live on this awesome lake hopefully that's me in about 20 or 25 years got him not a bad one these fish are biting me over about five or six feet of water actually they're not even up on the bank and with this lake being pulled down so far, it probably makes sense, but all of them just crushing this buzz bait. There we go, little pound and three quarter fish. Okay guys, so I'm actually gonna head in for the day. So this is the end of part one, catching fish in pre-front conditions. But tomorrow I'm actually gonna head out on the same lake and fish post-front and see how the fish change and see if I can figure them out. So stay tuned for part two. <laughs>